everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of 3B TV. I'm Brian. It's 3B Farm and Homestead here in beautiful upstate New York. And finally, spring is here. Well, almost. Officially, spring is here, which is why the facial hair is gone. Um, for those of you who don't know me, uh, several years ago I started growing out my facial hair for Movember, which is mustache November or no shamber. Some people call it no shave November, which are some events to draw attention to men's health issues, prostate cancer, so on and so forth. And then I've just made a kind of a tradition of keeping um, that facial hair to the first day of spring. And so last week was the first day of spring, and so the facial hair is gone until November. But on this episode of 3BTV, I don't want to talk about facial hair. <laughs> I want to provide you with a bit of an update as to some of the things we've got going on here. Um, in particular, an update on our um, grow light system and how well that's working out for us. This time of the year is a bit of a frustrating time of the year for me because I almost feel like I'm stuck in purgatory. Um, the plans have been made. Uh, I've got the seeds ordered. We've got some seeds in the ground that I'll show you here in a little bit. Well, in, in, the, in, the, um, in the pans here, so to speak, we've got some seeds and some dirt. Uh, but I really want to get outside and, and start getting some projects underway. And up until a few days ago, we had a lot of snow on the ground, and it just really hasn't been conducive to really getting that start that I want. But things are warming up, things are looking up, and so very excited about some of the things that we have coming up here in the next few weeks, and excited to share those with you. And so at the end of this video, I'll just give you a rundown of some of the things that we'll have going on in the next couple of weeks, some things you'll be able to look forward to, and so make sure you like our channel, um, click that, that little bell so you don't miss an episode, and um, looking forward to sharing all that with you. But let's get to the grow light system because I'm very excited to show you how well this is actually working out for us. So let me zoom in here and uh, you can see as we kind of go along here how well um, these seeds have really sprouted. And the thing that's so exciting to me, so encouraging to me, is if you look, let me pull one of these seed packets. This is some of the cabbage here. This is the uh, Danish ball head cabbage that we got from MI Gardener. And uh, the days of germination, officially on this, seven to 14 days. Well, let me tell you something, folks. It didn't take seven to 14 days for this stuff to germinate. Um, it didn't take, uh, the, I mean, in, in some instances, it was like a couple of days. And I started getting stuff popping up out of here. So I'm just so stoked about that um, and hoping that that uh, is a kind of a, a foretaste of how things are going to go this year. But things in here are, are just going very, very well. In fact, as I looked through here, I think this one is the only one where nothing came up. Other than that, every other uh, square, every other soil block that I have there, things sprouted. And so I am so stoked, so excited, um, and I can't wait to get these outside in the ground, but uh, just very excited about where we're at right now with those soil blocks. Now, the next step for us is uh, I've put in some more lights down here, and these are actually fluorescent lights. These are grow lights that my dad had, and uh, so I borrowed them from him because I'm going to start the, all of the vegetables this year um, because of some travel and whatnot. He's not going to be able to do that. So instead of going out and buying more of these um, LED lights for this, uh, this year, I borrowed one some of his fluorescent lights and then we'll be able to see how well things do under those. But the plan is tonight to start some tomatoes and some peppers and some eggplant. And I am so excited about that. In fact, that's probably what I'm most excited about growing this year in my garden, and that is the tomatoes. Um, one of the things, well, let me just show you this here. This is Clyde's garden calendar, garden planner. And uh, since I have not ever done this before, um, I've always bought transplants. I've direct sown seeds, but I've always bought transplants for things like cauliflower and tomatoes and peppers and so on and so forth. So I'm really relying heavily on Clyde's garden planner. But one of the things you'll notice here is right above my finger is, hopefully you can see that, that is 
when you're supposed to start your peppers and your tomatoes. And right there is that red line, which is your average last frost date. And you can see that the sow indoors is about four weeks before that line. And I got a little worried because a lot of the research I've done says to start your tomatoes and your peppers six to eight, and some people say even 10 weeks before your anticipated last frost date. And so I'm hedging my bets here. What I'm gonna do tonight, today's roughly around six weeks before the average last fall uh, frost date, give or take uh, a few days. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start a bunch of tomatoes, peppers, and eggplant today and then I'm going to start some according to Clyde's directions and then that way I'll be able to kind of see which worked better but I just want to make sure I have plenty of tomatoes because I want to sell some plants and then I want to have plenty to plant myself so um, so I'm hedging my bets here but excited 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 to be doing that tonight and uh, so I'll, I'll get those planted I will provide you with an update in a couple of weeks on how things are going there from what I've read peppers and tomatoes can be a little bit finicky to uh, to start from seed and so I'm a little bit nervous but uh, nothing ventured nothing gained and hey at the end of the day if it all goes south I can always go back and buy some transplants from the local nursery so not too worried that I'm gonna go hungry um, but Ah, man, I'm so excited about trying some of these varieties out. I hope that it works out real well for me. So um, that's the grow light system. Uh, I think things are going very well. I had some people that kind of were, weren't quite on board about these LED lights. Um, and uh, But it, it looks like things are going well. So I'm not sure um, how things will go now that everything is sprouted. Maybe there's some deficiencies as far as the um, spectrum. I, I don't know. But right now, I'm very, very happy with this grow light system and excited to get some things in down here um, tonight. So, folks, that's the update on the grow light system. Some things that you can anticipate over the next couple of weeks from us. I'm going to be building a new chicken tractor based on some plans from Al Lumna at Lumna Acres. I'll put a link to the video somewhere here, maybe in the description or maybe up here somewhere. Um, but I'm going to be making a few modifications, a few tweaks to his uh, design that I think will work better for me. Um, but excited about that. Uh, let's see what else we got. We've got some raised beds we're going to be putting in over the next couple of weeks. So very excited about that. And... We're going to be trying some straw bale gardening. So we're going to give that a whirl this year. So I'm going to be doing, I don't know, 15 to 20 bales of straw planting in those. So I'm going to be getting those and seasoning those. Um, so, so much stuff that we've got going on here. We'll be getting those chicks out of the brooder um, and putting them out on pasture in the next couple of weeks. So excited about that. In fact, in the next couple of days, I'm going to be doing uh, a video, just a quick update on the chicks and how well they're doing. So you're not going to want to miss that. So again, make sure you like our channel, subscribe, click that little bell, uh, and share it with your friends and family if you're enjoying this. Um, I hope you are. If you're learning something, I, I, I'm trying to do that. If you've got questions um, or you have feedback, comments, anything like that, uh, whether it's about something that we're doing or just the channel overall, would love to hear from you. And um, so thanks so much for taking time to uh, watch another one of our videos here on 3B TV. Happy spring, everybody. And I hope that your gardening is a success if you choose to garden. I hope your chickens are a success if you're raising chickens and whatever else you're doing this year. I hope that it's a success. Um, and if you haven't, you know, if nothing else, Buy a couple of tomato plants and uh, put together a, a container off your patio and grow some tomatoes, grow some of your own food, and uh, I think you will find out that it's much, much better than anything you could buy at the store. And quite honestly, it's even better than what you're going to be able to buy at a farmer's market or off of me. Because you know what? When you have that satisfaction of planting something and tending it, it just tastes better. It just does. So until next time, everybody, thanks for tuning in, and I hope you have a great day. We'll catch you later.